On the last video, we used a pencil to set up the bolt hole. And if you remember that video, we talked a lot about setting up the hand correctly, making sure that it was relaxed and making sure that you weren't gripping and setting up all of the fingers in the correct place so that eventually we can get to now where you transfer what you learned on the pencil to the bow. Now, word of advice and word of caution. If you are still not comfortable going through this process and setting up your bow hand quickly and efficiently and automatically, because remember, repetition develops automaticity which means you don't even have to think about it, right? At the beginning, your brain has to really process and think how to do it, but eventually you just do it because your brains learn how to do it. You repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and you build those pathways in your mind. So if you're not there yet, this is the word of a cautionary word. If you're not there yet with, yet with the pencil bowl, I would say stop this video right now and go back to the pencil video. With that being said now, let's put this on the bow hold. We are going to do the bow hold in two steps. For a brand new beginner and for a large class, which is the way that I usually will teach this to many students, we'll do it in two phases. Phase one is not the, it's the 95% correct bow hold, but it's easier because it enables you to use kind of gross motor skills and uh, it, it's going to be a little easier to be successful. And being successful is the key. So let's set up the bow hold now on the bow. So begin with holding the bow, again, by the stick, about the middle of the bow. Hold it uh, with your left hand so that the frog is in front of you, the hair is pointing down, and the screw on the bow is pointing to the right. If you have the bow like this, you are ready to set up this phase one bow hold, okay? So let's do it. Like the pencil, the steps will be the same. So I start with munching, where my ring and middle fingers are on top of the stick. My thumb is on the frog of this beautiful bow hold provided to me by my friends over at the Palm Beach Symphony. So thank you, Palm Beach Symphony. Thank you, David McClymont. Thank you, Olga Vasquez. Uh, this beautiful bow will be our model, uh, our, our model bow today. So thank you guys. We, I appreciate you tremendously. So we begin with munching and like the pencil, we go munch, 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 pat, 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 munch, 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 and we hold. If you're comfortable with the pencil, then you should be in a good place here. The teeth slide down, or those two fingers, the teeth slide up, the teeth slide down, and they stay. I rest my pointer finger, I can pick it up. I rest my point, pointer finger, and that stays. And I tap my pinky, tap, 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 tap my pinky, and that stays. Now, notice, I'm still holding it. Why? Because the bow in this, in this direction, parallel to the ground, it's heavy. And if I let it go, it's going to push on my pinky. And if I'm not used to it or have the muscles or a beginner, that could create some bad habits. So hold it. Once you have it set up, point up. And now, now let it go. Don't squeeze. Keep it loose. Keep it flexible. Let's do it again. Release the hand. Shake out the right hand. Let's move in closer so that we can get a better view. Munch, munch, munch. Pat, pat, pat. Munch, munch, munch. Hold. Slide the middle finger and the ring finger down. Put them back up. Slide them down and lift them down. Rest your index finger. Pick it up. Rest your index finger, leave it down, tap your pinky, tap, 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 tap your pinky, and now point the bow up and let it go. What you should end up with is a rounded, a curved thumb, 
on the frog. Remember, this is the face one boho. The thumb will move when we move to the actual French school of violin boho. This is a beginning boho that will help most of you doing this at home online be more successful. So remember, this is not the final place for your thumb, but this is a good place to start. The, the fingers or the teeth, right, of our bunny are curved down. These fingers are draping over the stick. My finger is still curved and my pinky is again tapping like before. Violinists and violists should look like this. If you're a cellist or a bass player, instead this pinky will rest on the stick, similarly to how you did the pencil bohold before. Everything would be the same, but you are here cellists and bassists. Make sense? From here, now let's set it up a little quicker and then we'll do an exercise to develop just a little independence. Step one, step two, step three, step four, or four, depending on who you are. Point it up, let it go. Shake it out, one more time. Step one, step two, Rest your bunny's teeth or slide the fingers down, drape them over to about the second joint. Step three, rest your pointer. Step four, tap your pinky, keep everything loose, point it up, let it go. From here, follow me, just move, let's move our bows together. There's a song that I would teach uh, kindergartners and first graders, but we'll just talk it out right now. So we're gonna move our hand a little bit. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train, round and round like the great big sun, stop at your nose, check your pinky and your thumb, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. Your hand should remain the same. You should not have moved anything. Your hand should be relaxed. You should not be gripping. If you followed me and you, and you still look the way that I do, you're in a good place. From here, let's practice some windshield wipers. And now feel how it gets heavy on the pinky, but try and keep your hand the same. Don't grip. If you can't go so far on the windshield wiper, that's okay. Good. Let's do some twisters. Again, don't grip, but keep your bow hold correct. Keep all of those places the same. Twister, very good, put it on our heads, put it on our nose, put it on the side of my head, and bring it back. Different things you can do. So from here, what do you do? Well, if you're in school or if you are at home, if you're brushing your teeth, use a bowl hold. If you're having soup in the morning, use a bow hold. If you are just riding in the car, practice the bow hold. Why? Because the more you do this on a pencil and the more you ingrain this in your mind, the easier transferring to the bow will be. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Drop me a comment in the link below. Don't <laughs> remember to like and subscribe. I say that because everybody else does. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.